I'm sorry. Oh my I'm not God, attention. there are cameras here. We better uh, shape up. We should do something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do that. Yep, yeah, we can do that. We can. You know what else we can do? Hmm? Oh, that's too much this too time much? of day. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, that leg goes too. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We, it's funny how we banter with each other, isn't it? It is. Uh, I, I quite yeah. enjoy it. I do so enjoy your company, Dick Cavett. That's good. And you got the name right and everything. That's a sign of a very, very good host. <laughs> Listen, have you ever done this to a guest uh, or a host? Um, I'll, I'll act now. Oh, I'm so glad you asked me that. Um, cat, is it? Yeah. Not only have I done that, how about this one? Oh, I'm so pleased you're here, Jay. Dick. <laughs> yeah. I called a guest by the wrong name once and I couldn't sleep for a week. Um, as long as it's your guest and not your wife. It is a scientific fact that you can blank on family names. Um, and in the old days of radio, the quiz shows, there actually was a man who could not pilot a helicopter without making an annoying sound that. to people sitting on a stoop right. trying to be heard. Don't they know that we're making television outside, which is the smartest idea in broadcast? Anyway. I'm starting to think that this whole show outside thing is maybe not that smart. You're only beginning to question that. Okay, Having okay, sat here okay. in cyclones, hailstorms, people throwing beer cans at you. I mean, I don't know how you've done it. Talk shows in general are really in the news now, right? Uh, Everyone's talk. talking about talk. Talk is cheap. Whoever said that, hit it on the head. Mort Saul, old friend of mine, pointed out 25 years ago that by about now, everyone in America would have his own talk show. Or Very her. prescient. And by God, Mort. they were right. Yeah, it's turned out that way. It's no honor anymore to have a talk show. But uh, I don't watch uh, uh, a lot stop, of Full stop, full stop. It is an honor to have a talk show. But you see, I have one. It's talk. Oh, did it sound like I said it was no honor? You, you oh. definitely said it was no honor. It's my diction. Yeah. <laughs> You've compiled a bunch of stories in Brief Encounters, your new book. Out now. What's it called? It's called Brief Encounters oh, yes, yes, by yes. Dick Cavett. That That's Richard Cavett. I don't talk about in the book only my talk show, but in some cases, the people I've been blessed to meet. How are you? Very nice to see you, my little songbird. You're welcome, please, Mr. Marlon Brando. You have talked to like everybody in yeah. the world. How would you say you've evolved and morphed as a communicator, as a public figure, over your years doing this? It starts out as pure hell. You've lived a relatively normal life, and suddenly you are on a fateful day, the first day where you're responsible for 90 minutes of television, ad lib, with people signaling you and lettering signs and then taking them down before you got to read it and wondering why somebody in the corner is going like this. And you're trying to concentrate on what this person whose lips have stopped moving minutes ago. <laughs> and put on a show. Was saying. But you sought it out. You wanted that life. What I wanted was to be a guest on a talk show once and go back to Nebraska and have people say you made it. No. I, yeah, I never dreamed of hosting a show, never. The Dick Cavett Show. When you write a book again, which you will, of course, Okay, if you say so, except you have to do the damn book tour every time you In do the it. damn book tour. And You're on talk show. This is, you came across the river to sit with me. It's like not a hardship, okay? You know, we have stoops in Manhattan. You know what? I'm ending this interview now because it's my <laughs> show. So you don't even oh, get to call I've the shots. I dreamed this day would come someday when I was mm. cut off mm. and then mm. mauled mm. physically. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, what? see? You might be mistaken for someone, obviously. Oh, obviously not. Now I'm going to put my hand on your knee. Watch this. <laughs> <Ow>! <laughs>